Hello again. This is the Water Man. Spiritual Toolbox number 381. John chapter 4, recording number 23. Audio recording number 699. And examination table number 356. We'll be continuing in John chapter 4, verse 7, where it says in the King James language, there cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. Now let's continue the building process huh, of this ark so that you can come back into the presence of God and escape all of that floods of your old, nasty, busybody, carnal, non spiritual mind so you can be lifted up above. To a higher, superior way of loving God, of charm, ability to love God as He loves you, first loved you. Hmm? That's what God's having me build, huh? So you can go through the eye of the needle, through that spiraling staircase, heading up, back up to God in those storms of your life. Remember, He's spaghettifying each and every thought process, and He's doing it step by step by step in each and every one, spiraling it. Hmm. Let's continue. All right, here it goes. I have it pre-recorded. <clears throat> Hello again. This is the Water Man Spiritual Toolbox Number Three Hundred One. <coughs> John Chapter Four, Recording Number Twenty Three. Audio Recording Number Six Hundred Ninety Nine. An Examination Table Number Three Hundred Fifty Three. Continuing studies, building the ark in John chapter 4, verse 7. The King James Version says, Then cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. Okay. Let's see here. I'm in. Uh, okay. I, just, I covered their cometh, that's Erhamai, and a woman, that's a, uh, Gune. I think it's how I pronounced it. Uh, and then the next word that's translated as of is uh, 1537X. Just so. 
Africans have very critical thinking. Uh, forbade, never forbidden, uh, 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 forbidding the Jews, uh, the, the Pharisees, and the natural Jews to speak, even to have anything to do with any dealings to do with that Samaritan woman. Man, you're a sinner, and I can't touch the only way around you, man. Huh? I can name you, man. And they're ignoring. Jesus came for the sin of the whole world, that offense. A missing of the mark. I'm drinking that well water. I'm taking well water. I'm drink, eating, partaking of that the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, doing their own red Adamic way, their own beast nature, feeding from that stuff, that 666 in their forehead, in their mind, and in their works. It's hopeless. It's the vanity. Right? But you were subjected to that stuff, not willingly, but in hope. So that hope will grow back to confidence. And it'll be in the same area, that seed of faith will grow back to the truthfulness of God. In your earthly thinking, God can come back at metanoia, or not, uh, as you metanoia, he can air hamai, make his appearance in you. God use both of those coming and arriving. God can show you, bring you up, bring you up to a higher way of thinking. Uh, increase you back into the mind of God. Come on, man. Stop that nonsense. Right. I sit here. I got a note here. Let me take you somewhere. Just read it just a little bit. I'm not going to probably dive into it too deeply. Try not to. Just a little bit. You can go ahead and look at this all yourself. I'm just going to show you a little bit.
I'm going to check something here. Just right. I want to see which one. Yeah, that word right there that translated for sin is this word right here. Strong's G266. Amartia. 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 That means I'm missing at the mark. It's like an archer shooting at the target, trying to hit the will of God, that bullseye of God, and they're missing. Why are you condemning them for that? Huh? Huh? Uh, okay. And the of thee is ha and the world, the cosmos. Not just talking about this outward stuff. Worldly arrangement, not just out there. It's the worldly arrangement in your mind, in the mind of humanity, in each person's mind. Mm. He came to get old, that stinking thing of whatever. He's bringing you back to your true inheritance. Who you are in Christ. This fleshly stuff is not going to last. This earth suit, your body is going to die. Let's be a hundred years old. Yeah, that's pretty. That's, that's an old age in the natural, huh? It's gonna die. You can go step out of this thing, and that energy, that spirit in there, is going back to the Father who gave it. Come on, man. How much of your inheritance, E N and S Y N God, are you coming back to get? Because that's the permanent increases. A permanent. Unchangeable, huh? This other stuff is just going back to the dust of the earth from where it came. Hmm. Hmm. That's just bullcrap. It's worthless and detestable. Getting you to God, you're not increasing one iota. Trusting in that stuff, trusting in that old well water. Seems good. Good for now. Stop. I'm not going to produce that. It's not coming back and qualifying with God doing that stuff. Huh? Jesus is sitting there on that wheel. Huh? Of your heart, of your mind. But it's got all that stinking iron water and sulfur water. That old yuck, the heart of man is desperately wicked and evil above all things. Ugh. This is a filthy stick of rags. I got it all dung for winning Christ. Oh, God. Hmm? Tell all that stuff to get out. Okay, go on, on, on. All right? Come on, man. Interpret that stuff correctly. Don't make, don't try to villainize God. Don't take, make your stand in that old bullshit thing. Go win God is a monster. He's going to throw you in hell. Omnipresent, he's everywhere. He's sitting 
out in the well of your heart, of your mind, of your thinking processes, offering you opportunities. Huh? After opportunity, after opportunity. Here, drink this good water. Don't drink it old. Sulfur and iron water there, man. That old bee sticks of water. Hug your own, man. That stuff will kill you. Huh? Separation. Total separation. That stuff's nasty. But it looks good. Look at it. It's pretty colorful. Oh, man, I think I'll drink some of it. Smells like rotten eggs. I bring it up here. <laughs> or it's like sticking a big chaw of that horse crap in your mouth or that pig slop. <laughs> Don't swallow it, my job. Oh, you double your trouble. One and two, four, eight, right? It's harder and harder and harder to come out of that. Watch out so you don't become an old wine skin. And you can't take that new revelation, that new disclosure of the truth that God loves you beyond words. And, uh, you know, God is the greatest, you know. No. Don't, don't, don't go there. If you don't have to. And you don't have to. Come back into that parousia, that presence of God. Let him increase you. Hmm? Yahweh is salvation. Is that what Jesus is? Name means Jesus. Hmm. Right now, don't wrong get it. Don't delay it. Huh? Don't procrastinate. Don't put it in the past. Don't put it in the future. I'm telling you, sweet bye bye. Man, I sing this song real good. Don't start there. I don't want to deal with it right now. Boom, boom, bang. Hogwash. Okay. Now, let's hop back here to. John 4, 7. <coughs> Just touched on this stuff, okay? This stuff you gotta go look for yourself. I'm dealing with John 4. So that's chapter 4 right now, okay? I can go a lot deeper than that. Probably will later, okay? Let's do whatever God wants, right? Okay, I'm building an ark. Huh? Bring you into the presence of God, into that like land of Goshen. Should all these plagues in this Egypt, this world be thinking, not tearing your butt up? Hmm. I paraphrase, put that in, <laughs> into a little thing here, man. It's tearing my butt up. Go get in Goshen, then, dummy. Drawing near to God. And that channeling of an act through, I'm qualified with God. Right, I know what I said at the, in uh, John 14, 6, May, not but, not on the contrary, or except, get in there and be more specific, and qualify with God, not your own righteous, a squatting king of your mind, your own non-spiritual thing. You don't have to get that, man, I, I don't feel good about this because it don't agree with the me, myself, and I in me. No, but it agrees with God. You better turn your back on that sucker. Take care of you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> that old dog, I'll shoot you. Get out. Right? I'll put a muzzle on you. Get out of here. Right? Let that stuff die. Die to yourself. And come back to God full board. Yes, sir, Father. God is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Come back emphatically. Not just pussyfoot around with it. Get it, get it, get it. Man, are you a dick on growing up to be a man? Being an adult, are you going to stay a little baby? I can't even walk. I can't even speak, really. <laughs> Huh? That'd be awesome. I ain't even born yet. I'm a, a breath loss. I ain't even regenerated yet. I'm still sick. And I don't even believe there is a God. I can't say enough yet. <laughs> you big dummy. Huh? God's placed you all there. He puts you where he wants. When he gives you opportunities, he best take, take advantage of it. See, these storms in your life are not 
are going. They're getting farther and farther and farther from the truth of God. They're getting more and more and more dark in their mind. There's this polished stuff. So they kind of look at me how great I am. And inside, full of all kinds of dead man's bones. It's not the, the way, the truth of the life. It's not the narrowing way. That's the way, the broad way that leads to destruction. Mm -hmm, don't want that. If you can see it, hear it, taste, touch, or smell it, better stay away from that. Okay? Now, this woman here is from out of. Stinking thinking back to God, or are they going down the, down the stairs? Pop, boom, bang, right? They're green into God, green lighting God, or are they red lighting God, basically? Which way are they coming from, my love? Falling away from God or falling into God? Okay. Now, the next word that they don't have translated is this word, very familiar. Strong's G, 3588. Huh. Huh. 3588. The ball of thinking that one's blind. Huh. Now, this is that. God, God said, be reasonable and sit my way. And this ball of thinking. So, which way are you falling? Falling in love with God or you're falling out of love with God? Hmm. Falling in love with yourself or falling in love with God? You're, are you increasing that ego? That itching God out, be like, oh, that I go, so you can increase God. Hmm. And God gives opportunity, okay? And now that, so this Samaritan woman was going the red way. <laughs> Stinking, drinking that, Jacob's well water, oh my goodness. Okay? Watch this, though. And Jesus is sitting and offering the way, the truth, and the life. Back into God's righteousness. Through that channeling of an act. Do that, right? Not by. Right, right. Uh, John 14, verse 6. Hmm? And doing this in the, in the storms of your life. Out the easy peasy tiptoe to the tulips. Hmm. Better examine that and stuff. Hmm? Uh, okay, just right. Now, this woman's from that Samaria. Okay? <clears throat> like this word right here. Strong D 4540. Samaria. Samaria. Okay. Just a minute. Oh, God. 
Okay, I already pre-recorded. I'll get this after I get this up. Okay, bye-bye.